This is Paul Bay, the other half of Bucket, and you're listening to Laugh Attack. It's been a long time since we first met, and the first time I met you, there's very few people that have made as favorable a first impression as you do. <laughs> you know, like just such a great guy and hilarious too, man. Uh, if you're from Vancouver, you know that. You've seen Paul a lot, obviously. And uh, one thing I wanted to bring up, Ron Jossel says that pound for pound, not only are you one of the funniest guys, but you're also one of the toughest guys in the country. Oh, Ron said that? Yeah. No, 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 no. He, he, <laughs> he's no, not one of the, I'm one of the oldest uh Oldest with that type of reputation, I think. Really? I, I, t- I used to take Muay Thai kickboxing, but only him and a handful of people know that. Yeah. Because uh, I don't like I don't like fighting. I just took it just to get in shape. Okay. Uh, for a movie role once, and then uh, I just sort of stuck with it, and I couldn't do it now. I couldn't. I couldn't. Because when Ron Jossel says someone's tough. Yeah, like, yeah, the guy must Ron be pretty tough. tough. He's a exactly. brown belt in jujitsu. Yeah, like yeah. he's a mixed martial arts guy, and yeah. he can fill out a door frame. Like he's just a massive dude. Can... No, he, he's just saying, he's just he's just being nice. He saw me break dance once, and for some reason, he knows he thinks I know how to fight. But you I'll can hang break it over dance him. as long as he thinks that. <laughs> that's fine. He'll pay for dinner. You can break dance too, dude. Oh, I used to be able to, and then now I had back surgery because of too much break dancing and and what? kickboxing. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> dude, I'm 41. I can't you, be doing that stuff anymore. This is so upsetting to me. You're 41. <laughs> you look like I look older than you. A, B, you've got injuries related to super cool hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> like well, one one super cool hobby was I was bending down for a book that I dropped and I I threw up my back that way. So okay, well that's maybe not as cool as Muay Thai yeah, and break yeah, dancing. Yeah. It may get you less chicks. Yeah, <laughs> those two things. Yeah, the but, Muay Thai stories are better. Yeah, seriously, that's just badass. I don't do shit, man. Well, I, you know, it's a Vancouver lifestyle. You've been out. You've been out here. You yeah. see everyone. Everyone's all in shape and stuff. It's sort yeah. of pressure. That's why I got to move out here so I can get in shape. <laughs> because it's what I need is pure pressure, not common sense. Yeah, you you live where somewhere where like you got a Tim Hortons and their donuts like every block you go. Yeah, yeah, so, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. It's disgusting. You could like my neighborhood, man. I got KFC. I got everything up there. Sounds I could, like a good neighborhood. I like yeah, that. it's okay neighborhood, but I, <laughs> I like Vancouver. It's all pretty and there's, there's ocean and there's seals. You guys have seals at the harbor. Yeah, and we're we're right now sitting by a window. Uh, you guys can't see, but we're sitting by a window where we're looking at a highway with a with a crosswalk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Vancouver's a weird city. Yeah, and uh, you've been a part of the scene here for some time. You're one of the guys who. Uh, there was an old generation, like the Daryl Lennox generation, mm-hmm. and you were like, I think, one of the newer guys of that generation. Yeah. And then when they moved on, or whatever, like it all changed. Yeah, you were an, like still around with this newer generation, mm-hmm. and you kind of helped, you know, mold a lot of these guys. I think. Also, uh, some of them, I think. Just, I think it's the uh, mm-hmm. just just by age. I think I started in um, Erica Sigurdsson and I. Yeah, started about the same time, around 1999, 2000, and a whole bunch of us came in at the same time. Uh, the Todd Allen, mm. um, who else was there? Damon Schroeder just before us. Yeah, right. Him and Kevin Fox are just before us. They're with the Daryl Lennoxes. Yeah, we're like so. Yeah, there's this. There's a good. Uh, there's a good class of 2000. There. It's it's cool being part of a generation, right? Do you mm-hmm. feel that like that you are very much a part of a generation of comedy in the city? Yeah, you know, you know, it's like in Toronto. Like when whenever people start, there's a camaraderie among. Because mm-hmm. when you guys came in, there's a certain number of rooms and there's certain rooms that everyone went to all the time yeah. and tried out the new material. In Vancouver, it was the Urban Well. Uh, that that marked the city. You had Brent Butt, then you had Robin Williams coming in, dropping mm-hmm. by for a set. Zach Galifianakis, uh, even Dane Cook before he hit it big, yeah. came by for a set. Uh, that was Urban Well, and us newcomers would come in and get to learn off of these guys. And I don't. There's no such room here now no, huh? where pros and amateurs can mingle at that type of level. Laugh Attack! <laughs> 